is the start of day number three on the Hansrukpad. I just had coffee next to this Hunabed D8. I camped last night in a <coughs> location I will not disclose. I'm gonna challenge myself today not to look at the maps unless I have to and wait until no earlier than 3 p.m. to look at my options for spending the night. <laughs> I don't like this, <laughs> but it's also exciting. <laughs> I'm probably expecting more forest farms and towns, and hopefully I can realize when there's a Huna bed nearby because I almost missed this one. D8 is not directly on the trail. You have to turn off a little bit, which I think is kind of kind of dumb they could have routed the trail this way but they didn't so I'm glad I saw it we'll see what there is to come goodbye Hunabed gonna get back this way this little path rejoins the trail in a little bit just came through these farmers fields misty morning and it's popping me onto this road to go this way I've been really lucky because it has rained only at night when I've been cozy and dry inside my tent. So I'm hoping <laughs> that luck keeps up. The rain's gonna come down, let it come down when I'm inside and warm and cozy and dry <laughs> and then stop before I wanna come out. <laughs> All right, it's got me going through this field now. Hello to some sheep. Hi, sheep. Um, I always find it strange to have a map that doesn't have a you are here on it. It's either Shipboard or Anlo. I'm a little confused. Not sure exactly where I am. And that's okay. And I'm not pulling out my phone to look at the map because I said I wouldn't. Ah, and this does have a you are here. And it's in Anlo. And if I was still wondering, it says Milk Tap Anlo. I'm guessing they do milk things here. Oh, horse. Hello, horse. It's pretty. Wow! First and potentially only debris across the trail. Meet the D11 phone bed and the English version. Let's see. All right, it's high time we explain what these things are. A Huna bed is technically a passage grave built by the prehistoric funnel beaker culture roughly 5,000 years ago. They're commonly called dolmens in English, but it looks to me like this is actually an error in translation that's kind of taken over. I'll let archaeologists continue to debate that one. Most of the Dutch Hunebedden are located in the province of Drenthe along the Hansrug geological formation. Hunebed literally means giant's bed because for a time, these were said to be made by giants. Hunaba D41, near Emmen, was discovered virtually intact, giving us an idea of what these looked like 5,000 years ago. The gaps between the large stones were filled in with cobblestones and clay, creating a proper burial chamber. From the outside, this would look like a large mound, with only the large capstones and a stone entryway exposed to the outside. Later on, in Germany, when I passed similar megaliths, I could really appreciate the superior level of care and attention given to the Hunebedden in the Netherlands. What I found astonishing was the sheer volume of these megaliths in the Drenthe region. The Hansrugpad passes 21 Hunebedden, 15 of which I get to see on days four and five of my walk. I 
I think the trail people screwed up this trail sign right here. Instead of pointing this way, it should be pointing this way. And here we are with the next trail marker. Just a little ways in the opposite direction of what the other marker was saying. So, I was right. And uh, that trail marker is pointed. It's probably just pivoted wrong. I'll tell them. It looks like this might be a prehistoric grave site. This mound of dirt. And uh, pretty little lake. Entering the town spelled E E X T X. -t. So I'm gonna guess Swan Amir means swan. Let's see if I'm right. Seems to be a theme around here. I just bumped into a guy walking his dog, a Australian shepherd dog, and chatting a little bit about the Hunsrook and apparently Right now, I'm on it. You can see the land going up that way, much less flat than what I've seen in the Netherlands for the most part. And what I'm walking on right now is what used to be a railroad that uh, was made for some kind of factory and uh, was dismantled in, in the 70s. This part of the Netherlands is odd in that there aren't any trains coming here. You can travel by train to most of the country, but this region is uh, not accessible by train. The super hilly terrain is something I've never seen in the Netherlands. It's actually not flat. <laughs> not totally flat. Check it out. It goes up. 